Well, rarely does a week go by when the name Taylor French doesn't appear in the winner's circle on numerous occasions. Taylor was looking forward to her first Menangle experience today. However, she's had to abort that after illness to one of the horses. I caught up with Taylor to have a chat about her. Well, it's good to catch up with you, but on a disappointing note, this eagerly awaited first drive at Club Menangle, you've had to abort. Yeah, it is very disappointing, but um, yeah, we'll move forward and hopefully run in the final the following week. Yeah, you had to scratch Stevie G. What was the problem? Um, so, obviously new to New South Wales and New South Wales rules and I had swell down on his legs last night when he was in a box. He's not used to being boxed and just had his legs blow up when we arrived. Um, so I put a bit of swell down on and yeah, obviously didn't know the rule. It had to be washed off by 8am this morning and the stewards come around about probably court to nine, which was a bit unfortunate, but um, yeah, rules are rules. So yeah, we'll learn from it. We will be seeing you here at Climbing Angle on Saturday night with your favourite horse in Parisian Artiste. Yeah, that's correct. Looking forward to it. Um, he's a pretty classy little trotter, that guy. So, yeah, hopefully he can bring a bit of joy to our troop. I suppose when the horse presents you with your first group one, he's going to be uh, forever in the heart. Yeah, he's got his own paddock at home. Um, yeah, he'll be around for a while. And Tully, you're following on the footsteps as far as harness racing is concerned from your father, Terry, who was a hobby trainer to start out with, but more full time these days. Yeah, yeah, Dad loves his horses. Um, was hobby was a hobbyist earlier on. Um, juggling it with his business and then decide to sell his business and yeah he does the horses probably he does do them full time but he's only got a little team so he's still got time for a holiday here and there and yeah but he loves his horses. And it was dad who presented you with your 50th career win courtesy of a horse called Hard Rock Shannon. Ah uh, yeah <laughs> that's right you know more than me so um, yeah he gets around the bush a little bit with those battlers but um yeah, no, I couldn't be happier with the opportunities Dad gives me, so very grateful. I was also Dad who then chalked up your 100th winner with Joey's Hangover. Yeah, Joey's got, got a little um, spot in Dad's heart. He um, was a very cheap buy early on. I think he's managed to win 16, 17 or maybe even 18 races for him now. So, yeah, Joey's one in the family that will be around for a while. As I mentioned in the introduction, Taylor, you appear in the winner's circle on a regular basis, but you have to cover a lot of mileage to do so. Yeah, so in Victoria we have, do have a lot of travelling to do. Um, we go to Mildura fairly often, probably once a week, and that's a good four and a half trip one way. So you're looking at a 10 hour round trip um, by the time you stop for petrol and whatnot. And, um, yeah, we do do a lot of travelling. Um, we are very central where we are, so our travelling, we are very fortunate for the tracks we go to. But um, yeah, look, we do have to travel to get results, so we will. Exciting times ahead for both you and your partner, Alex Ashwood, as far as the purchase of a new property. Yeah, so we purchased a new property maybe a little bit over 12 months ago, and um, it is a slow and pricey project, but it is getting there. We're probably only one or two months off being complete, and um, once we're out there, oh, we look forward to it more than anything, and it'll be great once we're out there, and hopefully the stress is off our shoulders once we are out there. Um, yeah, so we are counting down. <laughs> It's at Axdale, which is just near Bendigo, and you've got a 1,000-metre track. Yeah, that's correct. We put a track in um, just before Christmas last year, and um, I think the second 12-horse um, row of stables is just being completed now. So, um, yeah, pending the weather stays okay. Um, it's nothing like this at home. It's pretty terrible at home. So um, main key is good weather, and, yeah, it'll get the ball rolling and get it finished. And how many horses would you have under your care, and how many are you looking to expand to? Uh, so we've got 24 boxes there at the moment, um, probably in the next few months we'll expand that a little bit more and make sure every horse that's there has got shoulder, but um, ideally we'll probably have about 30 in training at a time. You're a little bit of a late bloomer as far as the driving ranks are concerned. Yeah I am, I just waited for a little bit of maturity to come on my side and um, I watched for a while and I think it's probably been the best sin for me is to watch and intake everything on the side. Um, for as long as I could and um, yeah, it's starting to show now what maturity can do in a driver so yeah, fingers crossed it stays up. Yeah, certainly going well this season, running third behind uh, James Herbertson and Ryan Sanders as far as the uh, driver's concession table is concerned. Yeah, we've actually got a pretty strong um, concession drivers list at home in Victoria. Um, a number of concession drivers do drive multiple um, Metro winners on a Saturday night at Melton and they take on the senior drivers a lot and um, yeah, pretty fortunate to be up there with those drivers. Um, as you mentioned, James Herbison and Ryan Sanderson, both excellent drivers. And Ryan's from up this way, so he's had a lot of experience also. But, yeah, um, our competition down there in the concession range is enormous. You love your trotter, and no doubt Chris Socio was a bit of an influence there. 
Yeah, so I worked for Chris for a few years, um, first in Bendigo at Bruce Morgan's and then when we made the move to Romsey, I went with him there and um, he obviously eats, sleeps and breathes trotters, it's his go-to. Uh, he's actually having a lot of luck with his paces this year too, which is good to see, but um, yeah, he's given me the um, taste of trotters and I wouldn't look back, I love the trotters and I think going forward, trotters are going to be my number one go-to. Other influences in this brief career so far? Um, look, a lot of female drivers I look up to. Um, early on when I first got a sniff of the sport, it was more male dominant, but now um, it's probably an even, um, yeah, you can say an even ratio between the male and females. But um, yeah, just, I can't even, I can't name anyone, but um, just all the female drivers I look up to and yeah, obviously the senior male drivers also. Talking about the female drivers, Team Teal has been a huge success and continues to build each and every year. You played a huge part as far as the fundraising this year with a number of outstanding performances. Yeah, always love the Team Teal. It's a huge initiative to be a part of. Um, Duncan McPherson, again, is a huge highlight in HRV and even HRA and across the um, water to New Zealand. So he is a huge part of um, Team Teal and obviously he got it up and running with his late wife. and. Um, you know, you couldn't be more proud to pull on the teal pants and especially get a winner, but to not so much dominate the series, but um, get a lot of winners under your belt, you know, $400 getting tipped in every time you get a winner and it all adds up in the end and it's a really good achievement. One of the star performers of the Ashwood French Connection is Tay Tay. When can we expect to see this brilliant performer back? Yeah, so Tay Tay, she's one of Alps' favourites. Um, she's a very nice filly, that one. She actually made her way up to Sydney with her sales room on the float, so we threw her on and she's up here. Um, gonna aim to put her in the carousel heats, um, probably give her a trial up here somewhere um, next week and yeah, go for the, from there. But um, the four horses that we did bring up, just a change in attitude and how happy they are with the better weather. It's just unbelievable how much the weather um, helps them and yeah, just makes them more comfortable. And Tay Tay is coming off a very strong trial winner, Kilmore. Yeah, she did go good at Kilmore. Um, obviously, we'll benefit from that trial. She blew up quite big after the trial and probably knocked up 100 metres earlier than you would have liked her to. But um, no, she's a very classy mare and whatever she does going forward, she's going to always benefit from it. She's got a very nice future ahead of her. Well, Taylor, great to catch up with you. Unfortunately, we're not going to be seeing you in action at Clubman Angle today, but we will be seeing you in Clubman Angle on Saturday night with your favourite horse, Parisian Artiste. I hope the rest of the carnival goes well for you. Fingers crossed. It can only get better. <laughs> Thank you.